Thank you. I just wanted to say thank you to my subscribers. Uh, 2020 turned out to be a pretty crappy year, but for my YouTube channel, it wasn't too bad. I never had great expectations for, for this channel. I didn't think I was going to end up with 100,000 subscribers or anything like that. I guess the idea for starting it was I had been teaching online for over eight years. I taught, I don't know, eight or nine classes. I probably recorded seven, 700, 750 videos, all of which were on the servers at East Carolina University. They were much longer than these videos, uh, but they weren't very good. They were full of content, but the quality, the video quality, the audio quality was pretty bad. Uh, there was no editing or anything like that. They were just, you know, streamed into the servers. But, but I kind of enjoyed doing it after a while. It's like anything else. You know, you teach for, for years and you like going into the classroom. You teach online for almost a decade and you like recording videos and, you know, unloading into the camera or in those days into the webcam. Uh, and I thought now that I was retiring, this was April, mid-April uh, 2020, maybe I should work on my YouTube channel. I'd had a U YouTube channel for 12 years, but I had never really done anything with it. Uh, what I used it for primarily was when I often would get banned on Facebook and I wasn't allowed to post live streaming videos up there. I would record them, stream them up to YouTube, and then repost them over to Facebook to get around the uh, blocks and things they were putting on me. That's all I'd ever really used it for. But in April, I decided, no, let's run with this thing. Let's see what we can do to try to improve the quality, do some editing, you know, perk up the audio a bit, and let's see what happens. So that's what I did. I think I started April 12th was the day. Now, at that time, I had five subscribers. I'd posted, I think, about 30 videos, give or take a couple. And I think I had something, a couple hundred views. I mean, it, it was nothing. It was really nothing. But I set a goal. I said, see if I can get 5,000 views and 100 subscribers by the end of the year. I thought that would be, that would be doing great. I mean, that's a from five to a hundred. That's 20 times, you know, the number of subscribers I had. So I figured I'd, I'd give it a try. Along the way, you know, I learned how to edit, which I had never done before, and I'm getting better at. I went from, a, you know, a cheapo webcam to a good 4K webcam, a Brio, and then ultimately a regular camera. I went through, I've had two microphones. I had a green screen I, I used haven't used recently, but I have used in the past and can still use. Learned how to do that. And I learned a lot of things that I hadn't thought about before and different ways of presenting things, especially for me. It's always a problem is to keep it short because my, my lectures for my classes tended to run far too long. But I went about it and I've, I've tried to keep with it, keep at it, keep producing new videos, which hasn't been hard in 2020. There's barely a day goes by. I don't see something in the news that, that makes me want to, you know, unload on that topic because some of the stuff going on is so ridiculous. So I've never had a shortage of ideas. If anything, I've had more ideas than I've had time to produce them. But along the way, I've learned how to do everything more quickly, get the lighting set up so I don't have to adjust it every time, editing faster get them a camera set up so I don't have to make a lot of color corrections. And I increased my turnout, increased everything. And I ended up a year with uh, 10,000 views, which by you know YouTube standards is nothing. But for me to go from you know, less than 400 to 10,000 when I was, my target was 5,000 was more than expected. And I shot up to about, I'm about 130 subscribers now, which is 30 more than I had hope to get. And I put a, a, up over uh, 200 videos. I'm actually in the process of getting rid of some of my oldest ones from years ago and replacing them with newer, cleaner, sharper looking versions uh, just to get rid of some of the old crap because it's, it's some of my old videos are downright embarrassing. 
uh, besides the fact that I weighed about 50 pounds more than, than, I, than I do now. But while I'm a, you know, a small minnow in the big ocean of YouTube, uh, there are a lot of whales and sharks and bigger fish out there. Uh, for me, you know, I, I didn't have intentions of being a big star, of, of being monetized and making money. Uh, that, that was never my goal. For me, this it, it's a hobby. It's a release. It's, it's something I enjoy doing. And I figured if, if actually if I ended up getting paid for it, it would become a job. I don't really need another job. I retired. I don't want another job. I enjoy being retired. I enjoy doing this as a hobby. It's like you know, playing video games or playing on a computer or playing chess or, or reading or all the other things that you can do to relax watching good movies. I can go in and make a video and it's still enjoyable. You know, planning the video, shooting the video, editing the video. I really don't like uploading video. It takes more time than I wish it did. But I've learned to even figure out how to do that and then just let it go and come back and take care of it when it gets there. So that, that's what I've been doing. And I really do, as I finish the year and I look at, you know, how much I've grown. I'll go again, it's small potatoes compared to, I mean, there are people out there with millions of subscribers, uh, you know, who get hundreds of thousands of views. And I'm lucky if I can get, if I do better than 50 on a video, I'm happy. But you know, I'm enjoying myself. And I just wanted to take a little time to thank all of you who have subscribed. I haven't lost a lot of subscribers along the way. Maybe, I don't even know that I've, you can tell when you lose them. And I've lost maybe 10 and you don't always know why. I mean, there are a couple of times I could guess why, because I put up things that, you know, people just didn't want to hear. But sometimes, you know, if somebody's on YouTube and they subscribe to your channel and they get busted, by the YouTube police and their account gets canceled, you lose the subscriber. So sometimes that just happens. But for those of you who have, have who keep subscribing and keep watching the videos and leave comments, and I really do appreciate it. And that's what I wanted to do in this video is just to, to thank you. And, uh, and if you have, you know, suggestions, you think you'd like to see them shorter or longer or, more of this kind or more of that kind, or there's, there's something you'd like, like me to address, uh, let me know in a comment. But thanks. I really do appreciate it. I do. <laughs> one of the advantages of being a very small channel is you can take the time to read all the comments, which I do. Uh, you know, if the people who have, you know, hundreds of thousands of subscribers and get tens of thousands of comments, there's obviously no way they can possibly read those comments. But the nice thing about being small, it's, it's, it's more personal. I mean, I get to know who the people are who comment all the time. Uh, and I do appreciate it. But again, if you have recommendations or things you'd like to see or think I should change, you know, let me know. And uh, again, thanks. And I hope that you have a good new year, a good 2021.